What is up you guys? It's that time of the year where back to school videos are starting to come around and I absolutely love these advice videos so I just thought that that's what I would do today. Anyways, if you're new here and you've never seen my face before, hi, I'm Hunter. I make videos on a bunch of stuff so if you want to subscribe, you totally should. Pretty much in this video, I'm just going to be giving you guys a bunch of advice on like middle school, high school, college. I pretty much just asked you guys to DM me and message me some questions. Anyways, let's just go ahead and get right into the video. So first we're going to start off with YouTube and you guys left me some really good questions. So let's just go check that out. So the first question is, did you pack a lunch or have school lunch? Much love. I love you. And in high school... This sounds really stupid, but I was actually, I thought it was nerdy to bring lunch to school, so like freshman and sophomore year, I didn't bring any lunch at all. Actually, freshman and sophomore year, I didn't have a lunch period because I, I don't know, I just decided to take a bunch of classes, so I just literally did not have a lunch. And then when I transferred schools, it so happened that you literally had to have a lunch, like they built it into the schedule. So I, yeah, that is when I started bringing cold lunch. And let me tell you, it is not lame at all to bring cold lunch. It actually saves money and you can bring healthier options. So I definitely recommend bringing cold lunch all the way. And I really wish I started sooner. What should I do about bullying? Okay, I feel like I'm going to have a lot of questions on this, so I'm just going to... I don't even, where should I even start? First of all, yes, I've been bullied in the past. Uh, I wouldn't say it's been too severe, but, you know, just people talking about my back, calling me names, calling me words you would not want someone to call you. I'm not going to go too in-depth on that just because it's not something that I really want to talk about, but yes, I have been bullied. Looking back at high school and the people who made fun of me, literally, it does not matter at all. I Personally, I don't care. I did at the time, like senior year, junior year, I cared a lot and it really affected me, but now looking back at it, it was just stupid. Like, everyone is so immature in high school. Even Sorry if you think you're like super mature. It's not true, like you're gonna, <laughs> it's high school, like even if you think you're mature, you're really not and you're still gonna grow up to be like an amazing person, hopefully, unless you're not willing to do so. But what I'm saying is everyone is still growing in high school, they're still growing into who they are and they're gonna continue to do so even after that, so people can be really immature and dumb sometimes and just don't let that affect you and let that ruin your time in high school. If you're being bullied physically or even if it's bothering you emotionally a lot and you know it keeps you from doing stuff that you love or it just keeps you from doing anything in general, definitely, definitely, definitely please talk to someone, either a teacher, a parent, or a guidance counselor. Don't think that, oh, people are going to call me like a snitch or lame. Like, honestly, who cares? Like, they can grow up, whatever. If it really is bothering you and it's keeping you in a not healthy state, tell someone. Trust me. And before I move on, I'm so sorry if you're ever bullied. No one deserves that. And I'm sorry. How do you feel about Mean Girls at School? Love you from Italy. I love you too. And oh my gosh, have I had my fair deal with Mean Girls. Sorry if the background moved at all, I literally just had to go move my car real quick. But Mean Girls at school, oh gosh, literally, uh. So after I moved to the second school that I went to high school, I ran into a lot of Mean Girls and it kind of sucked. I really stood out, I feel like, when I went to the second school because I moved from a city to literally like rural, like in the middle of nowhere, so I literally was so different from everyone else and I feel like that's why I really struggled to make friends. So literally when I got to the school, like no girls wanted to be friends with me. I obviously like I had a couple friends, like acquaintances I guess, but I didn't really have any close friends and I didn't all throughout high school for the remainder of high school just because literally girls did not like me and I don't understand. I mean I guess that's my experience with Mean Girls, like literally no one, I, I don't know, I just I really struggle now with like making friends with girls and I don't understand because I'm literally so nice to people but I don't know if it's a jealousy thing or people just don't want to be friends with me so that's my take on it honestly looking back I could care less like I want people who want to be my friends and want to be in my life so I guess it's really not that big of a deal it's just kind of annoying because it'd be nice to have like girlfriends to hang out with that was like a really ranty subject. I'm so sorry. Tell us about your college life. 
So, um, I'm, I don't know, I feel like I didn't really have that exciting of a college experience. I pretty much, so I decided to do a track last minute. I didn't plan on doing it at all. I didn't do cross country, so that was really sad. But I decided to do track and oh my gosh, it was the best experience ever. I'm honestly so happy that I decided to do track. I met a lot of cool people and I stayed in shape, so that was awesome. Other than that, I did find that it was very really difficult to do both homework and sports. It was literally almost impossible and it was very stressful, like I had mental breakdowns all the time. But with that being said, college was an amazing experience. I love being on my own and it's very different from high school, like very different and it's so much better. And I found that I made a lot of cool friends in college and compared to high school, you meet people that are more like you and it's awesome. I love it so much. I also found that I hung out with more people because in high school and middle school I never hung out with people. I hung out with like my best friend every once in a while and that was pretty much it. But in college I literally hung out with people like almost every single day and it was super fun and I love college so much. It's literally amazing. Yeah. Hi, I am currently in college and was wondering if you pick your classes based on professors or based on the time of the class. Just curious to see what others do. Stay groovy. So my classes are actually chosen online and I get to pick what day of the week I want it or what time I want it. I'm pretty sure you can pick professors too, I'm not really sure. I just do time of day and then yeah that's pretty much all I go off of is time of day. And it's really hard for me too because I have to fit in track practice and then on top of track practice I have to fit in pole vault practice which isn't the same time so literally sports probably take up six hours of my day maybe like five hours, but it's kind of ridiculous. So it's very hard to schedule classes. With that being said, I ended up having to take online classes second semester and it kind of sucked, but I actually kind of enjoyed it. How do you deal with anxiety and depression while going into high school? Um, oh gosh, I don't even know. I've never really had bad anxiety, but I did have pretty bad depression and it kind of, I've always had depression, honestly, but I wasn't diagnosed until junior-ish year. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I did not cope with it the best way that I could have. I actually bottled up my emotions, so pretty much the exact opposite. But I definitely recommend going to a counselor, because that works for a lot of people, or writing down your feelings. That is actually what I do, and I so happen to have the journal that I write down everything in right here and I don't think it's gonna it's probably not gonna focus but I do write in it and I actually did this in college and it helped so much whenever I was feeling stressed out or sad or even when I was happy I would just write down everything that happened in this journal and that helped me so much so I definitely recommend either writing stuff down or talking to someone trust me it's it's well worth it what are your favorite school supplies? Definitely highlighters and planners. They're the best. What was your most embarrassing moment in school? I literally have so many of them and I can't even think of any. Literally just me existing is embarrassing enough so I literally can't think of anything. I don't even know. Probably something in like English or art class freshman year. I was a wild kid and I, I was very cringy. The next question is, who was your first crush? And I don't know if you mean like elementary school, middle school, high school, but I don't really count middle school and elementary school relationships. Like, I don't really count them. I don't know, because you're, I don't know, you're too young and stuff. It doesn't really, it's like a couple days. So, high school, um, I'm not gonna say any names, obviously, but my first crush was probably this kid that was in my art class. Uh, he was really cool and he was very artistic. So I thought he was the coolest person ever, so he's probably my first crush in high school. What grade are you in? I'm currently a college sophomore. I was a college sophomore after my first year of college this year because of some credits I rolled in from high school. So now I'm going to head over to Snapchat to look at your guys' questions. So this question is from Sage Jill 2005 and she says, How do you stay away from drama? And... Um, I don't know. I just don't associate myself with it. I really don't like drama and I literally try to stay away from it at all costs. But junior and senior year it was very difficult for me because some crappy people were um, starting rumors and stuff and it really sucked. I honestly tried to let it not affect me too much and I can't say that it really affected me a whole lot but I definitely was affected by it. 
it's just one of those things I have to understand that not everyone is going to like you. There's always going to be those people in life that just don't like you for some reason and there's nothing you can do about it. You just have to stay positive and work through these times. But pretty much I just don't associate myself with anybody who causes drama. I don't associate myself with anyone that you know isn't similar to me that I don't think would be a good friend. So I guess that's kind of how I say all the drama. Another reason too is because I don't hang out with a lot of... I don't really hang out with that kind of crowd, I guess. I am not really attracted to it. I, I'm just not into it. So the next question is from Luz M. Velarde. I really hope I said that right. But they ask, how many AP classes did you take and were they worth it? Did they give you a better advantage of getting into college? Can't wait for this video. XOXO. Thank you so much. I love you. And okay, so junior year I took two AP classes and then senior year I took four AP classes. And my reasoning, because freshman, sophomore year when I was at my other high school, I would have never challenged myself like that. I took levels like one and, no, I didn't take levels one. I took levels like two and three, but I never really like challenged myself to go like level four, which is AP classes. That's why I'm very glad that I switched schools because now, since I switched to school, I decided to definitely like challenge myself more, take more AP classes. Fun fact. The reason that I took my first AP class was actually because <laughs> I wasn't a fan of the people that were in my one of my English classes junior year. I really did not like them and I felt the class was pretty easy for me. I just the main reason I switched was because I didn't like the people in the class. I just felt like it wasn't a, a good environment, I guess. This it's probably the best way of putting it. So it was either that class, which is CP English, or it was AP English, there wasn't anything in the middle, so I was like, you know what, I don't like these people, I'm gonna go to AP English, and whatever, I'll deal with it. I ended up loving the class, the teacher was amazing, he was the best, one of the best teachers I've ever had, so I was definitely very happy that I decided to switch. And after I enjoyed that class, I decided to take more, and that's why I took four of my senior year, which was stressful, but it was well worth it. I'm not sure if that gave me advantage into getting into college. I'm sure it did. I'm sure colleges love seeing kids who challenge themselves, especially like junior and senior year. And AP classes, they are very hard. So I'm sure that gave me advantage. Plus, if you pass exams, you get credit and you get to pretty much not take the class in college, which saves you a ton of money. And that is why I am a college sophomore as of right now, because I had AP credits that rolled in. So definitely if you're up for the challenge, I definitely think that you should take college courses or AP courses. This next question is from Luella and she says, is being a freshman really as bad as everyone makes it seem? No, it's not. Actually, freshman year was probably my favorite year of high school. Uh, it was so much fun. I definitely, definitely recommend that you make sure you're on top of your grades because I kind of slipped with that. But I had no issues as a freshman. The only thing I would say is if you are an incoming freshman, watch out for the upper class guys. They are disgusting and they have weird intentions, so be careful of that. And they also ask advice on getting good grades. Make sure you get your homework done on time and that you're organized. Those are my two top tips. This next question is from Hannah underscore zero Marie and they ask, was high school hard for you? It was because I decided to take so many hard classes, so I was stressed out, and then on top of that, I had to deal with some pretty crappy people, and on top of that, mental illness. High school was a roller coaster, and I did not enjoy it whatsoever. That does not mean that you're not gonna enjoy it. High school can be an amazing experience, and everyone has a different story, so definitely go in with a positive mind. Second question, did you have any scary teacher moments in your life? Not that I can think of. This next question is from Cameron Marie B and they ask, how do you make friends or find friends? Honestly, this is something I really struggle with so I'm not the best at getting giving tips. But honestly, you just have to go out of your comfort zone and just go talk to people. When I went to college, I literally, I'm a very shy person and I made sure to talk to everyone and walk up to any group and it was scary but at the same time I made some pretty cool friends. Like the Adam guy that I always mention in my live streams or that you guys always see, he is one of my really good friends and I met him just literally walking up to some group. This next question is from Pmans1738 and they ask, going into school, 
by I'm not sure what you mean by this well I do know what you mean by it but I don't know what you're kind of like asking honestly it's gonna be hard I just want to say I fully support LGBT all the way I am a 100% supporter I literally will fight for it yes but I do know how hard it is and people can be crappy sometimes but honestly just know that those people who you say they bully you for it or they're gonna call you names or whatever um, screw them. <laughs> you don't need them. And obviously if people are like that, they have something else going on inside of them to like take the hatred out on someone else. So literally don't mind them. They do not matter. Who cares? Keep doing you. You're beautiful for who you are. And you know, you're going to find people who are just similar to you or who get you. And that's all that matters. This next question is from Maya Allen and she's asked, how were the homecoming school dances like? And I went to every single dance. I went to all homecoming. I went to all of the proms and I really liked homecoming. <laughs> At the time I was very shy, but I still enjoyed it. I don't really like the event so much. I just like dressing up and getting ready with like friends and stuff. But yeah, that's probably my favorite part, but they are fun. Definitely, definitely, definitely make sure you go to all the events. You're going to regret it one day if you don't. It's just so much fun. This next question is from super underscore nerd222. And they ask, what is your favorite memory from high school? And definitely anything to do with track. Probably winning city championship freshman year of track. That was so much fun. This next question is from one of my friends, Michaela Blaze. And she asks, are you happy with the school choice you made? Yeah, I am. It's definitely a smaller school than like most colleges, but I am happy with it. I love the people there, and it's a cute little campus. Which one do you like, middle school, high school, or college? Definitely college. This next question is from Dimples Diana, and she asks, do you have any tips for incoming college freshmen who are transitioning to college? Uh, just go out of your way to make a bunch of friends. That's pretty much my only advice, and then definitely stay on top of grades. That's so important. This next question is from Maya Michaelis, and she asks, have you ever thought about changing your major? or maybe doing more than one. And no, I really haven't. I'm really content with media studies. I just love it so much. What's it like on the first day of freshman year? Um, pretty much you just get lost the entire time and it's kind of scary, but it ends up working out and you're completely fine. It's just a little stressful. This next question is from Campbell and they, Camp, Campbell, Camp, Campbell, sorry. And they ask, how do I get through math? I literally get so stressed and it's so hard. Girl, I feel that because I am terrible at math. But honestly, I had to just go and get extra help during study halls, and that's the way I coped with it. I put in extra time with it, and that's how I pulled through. Pretty much that's my advice. Just put in a lot of time, practice it a lot. It definitely does help, and yeah, just get through math. This next question is from Emily Paulici, and they ask, how do you manage school in YouTube? Love you, by the way. I love you too. And honestly, I don't know, but it's really hard and I'm just good with managing my time, I guess. I write out schedules and I have a to-do list, so that definitely helps. This next question is from Beaute Angel and they ask, is high school geometry, chem, and biology hard? Um, yeah, it is, but I personally love science, so I found it to be fun at the same time. So yeah, but it is definitely hard, but just put in the time and study it. And the last question is from Jess Scooch, and they ask, what, at what point do you think focusing on good grades becomes too much or unhealthy? And I don't think there ever is a point. I think you should always focus on your grades all through high school and college. But, of course, just make time to do fun stuff. Other than that, definitely keep up with your grades. It's very important. So those are all the questions that I'm answering. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you guys have an amazing school year. And if you guys ever need advice, make sure to DM me or message me. I love talking to you guys. Anyways, Katniss and I love you all so, so much. And I will see you in the next video. Love ya.